Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't be dry scooping your pre-workout. So dry scooping has been a very common trend nowadays. I see it all the time on Instagram, TikTok, all the different social media apps. For some reason, it's become more popular over the years now to just take a scoop of your pre-workout and drink it down with a little bit of water. Now there's definitely some things to be concerned about when you're doing this. Uh, the first of it being you could inhale some of that to your lungs and some of the ingredients in certain pre-workouts aren't really something you want to get in your lungs. Some pre-workouts have like different types of mushrooms and funguses in them and you wouldn't want to be inhaling that and it is very common if you're dry scooping that some might go down into the windpipe. You don't want that. Another thing, when you're dry scooping, you're not going to be drinking as much water. And water is very important. People underestimate how important water really is, but it makes up a good portion, 60 to 70% of your body. So you want to make sure that you are having adequate hydration during your pre-workout period and your workout. Now, if you're going to the gym, slamming back a scoop or pre-workout and having a little bit of water, what's going to happen is it's going to cause your body to expel a little bit extra water because caffeine is a bit of a diuretic. Now it's not as intense as some people think it is, but I do see that there is some pre-workers out there that people do dry scoop that have about 500 milligrams of caffeine and that's going to be quite a bit. So you will expel some water there and getting dehydrated is not a good time. Personally, I've had a pec tear that required three surgeries all because of well, not just because of dehydration, but dehydration was a key factor in that injury. So you definitely want to stay hydrated while you're in the gym. It's going to help you build more muscle, burn a little bit more calories, and keep you from injuring yourself. So yeah, you can inhale some of the ingredients. It's going to keep you from being as hydrated. And I don't know, there's just something nice about sipping on a pre-workout. Unless you, like, if you really hate the flavor of your pre-workout, maybe look to get a different brand. There's some brands out there nowadays that have some amazing flavors. 10 years ago, this was not the case, but if you have a pre-workout nowadays and you don't like the flavor of it, just try a new one. There's so many out there that have really good flavoring. You're sure to find one that you'll like eventually. Some of my personal favorites for favorite flavors are Beyond Yourselves by the Super Set Pre-Workout. It's really sour, same as the Pump Addict by Believe. Those two are very sour, but good tasting. And for the less sour, I like Batch 27 by TC Nutrition. Probably my favorite tasting pre-workout of all time. I like the Gummy Bear or the Grape Bubble Gum. And then also Total War by Redcon 1 is another kind that I like the flavor of. So if you're dry scooping because you don't like the flavor, maybe try one of those out because they do taste really good. So yeah, this is why you shouldn't be dry scooping your pre-workout. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button below. And I will see you in the next video.